Hi, are you a resident or foreigner? Are you a resident on this earth or foreigner, my friend? Lord Jesus, he was the first foreigner. He created the heaven and earth. And when he came on this earth, he lived as a foreigner. We read in Matthew chapter 8, verse 20. And Jesus said to him, The foxes have holes, and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has not where to lay his head. So he lived as a foreigner. The earth belongs to him. He created it, but he lived as a foreigner. To give us a big example, so we can follow him. The second one, Abraham with all his fortune. He didn't have a house. He lived in tabernacles and tents. And as foreigner on this earth, he seeked a new city whose builder is God only and spoke with God all the time. I want to read from Hebrews chapter 11, verse 9 and 10. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which has foundation, whose builder and maker is God. Are you a resident or foreigner on this corruptible earth where dwells corruption and wickedness because of deeds of man? Your hope is heaven or earth? If you say to me is heaven, what I when I see you running all the time, you speak only money, dollar, euro. How can I believe you me? I am a man, you can cheat me, but you can't cheat God. You are a resident of this earth, you don't live as foreigner. Third, Lot felt it. He saw Sodom and Gomorrah as the garden of the Lord and became resident in them. But you know the end, if Abraham didn't plead for Lot, who could never survive poor lot or poor you can put your name my friend I don't know your name you can spell it this earth will burn and everything will melt sooner or later you will leave it why you would to, you want to put treasure on earth nothing is worthy number four we have a great cloud of witnesses. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 38 and 39. Of whom the word was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. And these all have obtained a good report through faith. Received not the promise. Since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. So my friend, they wandered in deserts, on mountains, in dens, caves of the earth. They were slaughtered as a sheep, but they didn't got the promise. You, my friend, you got the promise. Jesus came and he gave you the Holy Spirit. Why you are living as resident on earth? You will leave it sooner or later. Live as a foreigner on this earth and seek kingdom of heaven. He will never disappoint you if you are faithful till that. And if you live as a foreigner on earth till the end, your name will be written in the book of the Lamb and you will be resident of heaven. So my friend, if you live 
resident on this earth, you will be foreigner for God. If you have you live foreigner on this earth, you are resident for God. So choose, my friend. Are you living as a foreigner or resident? It depends from your choice, my friend. Jesus is waiting for you. You must follow Jesus. He was foreigner. Heaven and earth belongs to him and he lived as a foreigner. So follow Jesus and of whom the word was not worthy. The Lord gave me this word. He spoke to me when he showed me my rapture. So this word mustn't be worthy for you, my friend. So follow Jesus and take him all the time in your life. Let him be alive in your life and pick up your cross and deny yourself. God bless you. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air. Are you ready for the rapture?